Get that guys, what we're going to do today is uh, change the oil and oil filter on a uh, Holden Rodeo 2006 model, okay, V6 petrol. What we need is a uh, new filter, okay, this is a Ryko filter, bought from Super Cheap. A, uh, a filter remover tool, you might be able to do it with your hands, there's all different types of tools, that's the one I've got here at the moment. And um, yeah, the car, <laughs> okay, so just pulled out the dipstick. And uh, there's our old old oil, it's only, it's only half full, been running a bit low, okay, remove the cap, just to back any pressure off, let the oil flow out, just have that sitting there. Come the underneath, I've got just a couple of uh, ice cream containers that I use just to drop the oil into. Coming up to our sump here, let's see if we can get a decent picture of you. Alright, there's our sump plug and there's our oil filter. Alright, already made it a bit easy by backing them off before I even start. That's a 12mm, 13mm. That makes sure the car's not too odd when you're trying this at home. Yeah, we just back that off. And there she goes. Alright, so we just drop that oil out and um, swap that filter over and uh, put the new oil in so we'll be back in a sec all right we're back okay we're just going to um, lube up this oil filter before we whack it on getting some of the oil that I'm going to be putting in some nice green, clean fresh oil just whacking, whacking a bit around the seals and that okay just to make a nice smooth easy fit Okay, drained all the oil out. Just put it in those ice cream containers as you can see, it's pretty dirty, pretty ugly. Okay, throw the sun plug back on and uh, just tidy it up around there before I put the uh, oil filter back on. Alright, so we'll put this oil filter back on, top row with oil, and there's the oil change done. Thanks for watching. And just one more thing before I go, one good idea is to never use a tool to tighten these guys up, otherwise you'll never get them off, okay, so always just put it on hand tight, nice and taut, but I don't ever use a tool to tighten them up, otherwise you've got to deny and destroy them to get them off, alright, good luck with your oil change guys.